Welcome to E3 2017. This is a hotel room, but it's located near the convention center. I'm Frank Howley, host of Neighborhood Game Club, and I'm joined today by... Mega Moika. Oh my god, look at that voice. Listen to that voice. You are a Twitch streamer, voice actress. Pitch yourself. I forgot to get my show notes out. <laughs> I see, but yeah, I do. I'm a voice actress who does YouTube and streaming on Twitch. Oh, I guess, I guess we should take off our masks. Oh, it's sorry. me, Frank. It's me, Margie Mocha. There you go. How, what's the name? It changes every time. Is it Magic <laughs> Magic Moika or Mag, Maggie Mocha? Yeah, it's Maggie Mocha. Maggie Mocha. I met you at PAX South this year. You are a Twitch streamer, voice actress, digital influencer. Uh, you're a Mega 64 fan. You charmed us and we're friends. Um, yeah, I wanted to talk to you because you're from, where are you from? I am from Oklahoma City. The Midwest? Yep, did good you, old Midwest. Did you grow up there your whole life or did you move around? Um, no, I actually grew up in Kansas, in the Kansas area. And then uh, as I got older, my family moved to Oklahoma. So. How's, how's the Midwest compared to L.A.? It's flat. It's boring. There's not much really to do. It's farmland. Are there any good conventions in the Midwest? Um, not really. Maybe uh, a Asin. In never, never heard of it. But <laughs> E3 is that's the one you need to go to. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we're here before we get to E3 2017. Let's go through the history books. Uh, growing up, what were some of your favorite games? What hooked oh. you early on? Oh boy, uh, good old Mario 64. Okay, yeah, that yeah. was my favorite. Oh. What was your favorite world? I love the snow Anything? one. Anything? Yes, the snow one. I was going to say the penguins. Yep. I love yep. them. I was like, oh, they're waddling. Did you ever get good at like the, the racing when you had to go down the slide? You have to like jump off and do the shortcuts? Oh, not when I was younger. I, I sucked at it. Um, I It was when I was older. I was like, hey, I should revisit this. And then I was like, oh, this isn't too bad now. Past Mario 64 were some other games you're into? Maybe even um, Next Generation? Harvest Moon. Okay. I love the farm life. Um, Harvest yeah. Moon 64, which was your favorite? I really liked all the GameCube ones. Okay, yeah, yeah. A are, Wonderful Life, I think. Actually, A Wonderful Life, uh, yeah, it's my favorite. Are there any Are there any of the 3DS ones good? Are those worth checking out? Um, so, funny thing about that, they had a, the company, like, the publishing one from Japan was like, Hey, what's going on with the American one? Because Natsume essentially took the brand because they own that. And they were like, we're going to make our own Harvest Moon games. Even though they're what everybody's familiar with, it's not by the same people. It's different people. So I honestly, I didn't like the new like That's a no. Harvest Moon ones. Yeah, it's big old fat no. Great. Well, I got the answer I needed for this interview. I don't know if we should go more. I mean, oh. that was all I wanted. But people are going to blow up my mentions if I don't. Um, how, <laughs> did, how did you get into Twitch streaming? Um, uh, well, I had all my things stolen. So career-wise, I was like, hey, uh, I only have a microphone and my computer all my like furniture and clothing and stuff's gone. It was stolen? And yes. And What's they, the story there? Well, I was moving oh, okay. and I was just like, hey, I'll place all my things in storage and for a day, like just like 12 hours and go visit my mom and then I'll get my things moved in. And in those 12 hours, the, my things got stolen out of that storage unit. And so. That's like, what year was this? Uh, that was like two. Three years ago. Oh my god, this is recent. It's it like very this, recent. this turned into a true crime podcast. Yeah. It's like serial. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, so you had a traumatic life event and you started going to Twitch. Like, were, were there Twitch streamers you followed? Did you already, were you already familiar with like PC gaming and like um, that lifestyle? Like, how did you like evolve to have this following that you have today? What was like, you know, quick, quick, well, beats of your I timeline? was basically, I was just, I only have my microphone mm -hmm. and my computer. My identification's been stolen and I need to go through the process of getting that so I can't get like a conventional job. Yeah. And so I was just like, hey, I'm going to become a voice actress again and do it for money and work uh, and do like Twitch on the side. Who knows? Maybe that'll like hit off or something. So, yeah. So you were able to go from nothing to doing. So this is your full time job, right? Voice acting yes. and Twitch streaming? Yep. Uh, Jesus. Um, how did you, I mean, even for people who want to be like Twitch streamers or whatever, how did you develop an audience? How did you find an audience? How did you cultivate that following? Honestly, being consistent with your streaming times, because that's the, I think that's the issue that a lot of smaller time, um, mm -hmm. even I'm still small time, but, um, yeah, it's just, it comes down to people being like, oh, this person streams at exactly 8 p.m. Yes, I can make it. 
yes, I'll watch them. That's what would you say your specialty is? Because I feel like there's millions of Twitch channels. Like, what's Ooh. like the thing? If you want, if I'm in the mood for this, I go to Magic Maggie Moika. Magic, yeah. Ma- Margie, Ma- your fans, your man. fans are gonna hate me, but, but that's <laughs> no, all right. Okay. I, I just call you by America. Yeah, it's okay. Go. Um, no, yeah, I just. I forgot the question. What was it? Um, the question is like, what's your niche? What's oh, your like what's my niche? specialty? Um, play JRPGs okay. and Overwatch uh, and be semi decent at it. Okay. But sometimes I mess up and people are like, "No, you idiot!" Is your chat? What's your like community like? Is it toxic? Is it friendly? Like, um, what's your audience it's like? It's like a good mix. Some of them are toxic, and then the other half's like, "Stop it!" She she's trying her best. What's like your what's like the age range? Because I saw when you're at Pax South, you're saying autographs for like like kids and teens. That was yeah. like sweet. That was awesome. Like what like what's your audience? Like? It like for that's the funny thing for YouTube. It's definitely a younger demographic. Yeah. So you you also like post teenagers. stuff on YouTube occasionally. Yes. Right? Yeah. So on my YouTube, it's like teenagers, mm-hmm. and then my Twitch. It kind of varies. There's a few younger ones who are familiar with Twitch, so they'll watch me on there. But uh, for the most part, they're older. They're, like, in their 20s, 30s. Cool. Um, my question, like, I can never do Twitch streaming because I already work, like, four jobs. And then <laughs> when, when I want to play video games, I'm just going to tune out play video games. Mm-hmm. How do you balance between, like, voice acting, Twitch streaming, and then even, like, just I'm going to play this for myself and not, like, be broadcasting? How do you, like, balance that as someone who, like, kind of works from home and is a freelancer, technically? Um, so I do – I try to do my voice acting in the mornings. That way I get it out of the way and then mm. I have the rest of the day free or if a client's like, hey, I need this line redone, I'll have time in between the day. And um, for what I decide to stream, usually it's like, will my fans like it and will I be able to play it for a long period of time? And While if, keeping them engaged. Yes. Exactly. If so, then I'll play it. Otherwise, I'll be like, ah, they probably won't like this, but I know I will, so I'll just play it on my free time. So, so through your audience, have you made any good friends or connections through your work? Because I yes. feel like, I mean, like, <laughs> I, I kind of hate the term influencer, but it's like you are like a, you are a yeah. social media person. You do Twitch and Twitter. You're here at E3. We became friends. Like, what's it like going from someone in the Midwest to like just being it's, a you know a game personality? It's like it's crazy because. Like, I've been a fan of Mega64 for a long time, and I've never in a million years, like, I've been watching for over yeah. a decade, so I was just like, if I went back a decade, and I was like, oh, you, you'll know these guys and actually talk to them normally, I wouldn't believe yeah, it. Yeah, you just, so. like, showed up at Anime Expo one year and, like, harassed us, right? And then yes. you became friends, yeah. 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 <laughs> But, uh, Basically. Um, yeah, no, it, it's weird that you can just make friends. Like, even, like, today at, at E3, I messaged, like, another person, Jason Schreer from Kotaku, just because I, like, followed, was friends with him on Twitter, and I messaged, hey, can I do an interview? And he was like, sure. Like, people are down to communicate and collaborate. Um, you also mentioned voice acting. What are, like, do you do for anime, indie, like, indie games? What's, um, like, your, been your work? Right now, my the majority of my voice acting is animations and indie video games awesome. and visual novels, so... Yeah. Any any big titles or ones we should check out? Um, no, they're all pretty like they're yeah. indie. Yeah. So Plugs, they're not anything too big. is there anything available on Steam? Um, yeah, actually, there's quite a few games. Pl- um, plug a few. All right, one of the ones that I'll be voicing for it's called Neko Club. So if you like cat cute club. Nekos, yeah, like cute little cat girls. Do you speak like English or are you just doing meows? Uh, no, it's English. Okay, they talk cool. English. What does the cat worry. sound like? Can you do a line from that? Uh, do you want, what do you want? Do you want, like, American cat or a Japanese cat? What Can we do, do both? Let's do both. Okay, so American cat will just be like, meow. Okay. Uh, Japanese will be all cute and be like, meow. Are those your, do you have any more lines in the game, or was that? Uh, like... no, the, yeah, there's, like, regular, like, oh, okay. oh, yeah, how's it going? Like, I want to hear your accent of, like, how's it going, but as a cat, what does it say? Oh, that? my God. Okay, say, okay, you're a cat. You are, you just got done, uh, not using the litter box, you just got done, <laughs> you just got done hanging out on the couch. I don't know, okay. whatever cats do, I don't know. I, I, I'm a dog person. Okay, okay, you see another cat. That's your direction. What do you say? Or, say deliver your line. I'm hungry. Wow. That, I, oh my, do oh, you you're a human, it? I thought do there was a cat. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was, again, your fans are going to hate me, but... <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm just trying to get to know these people's, like, inside the actor's studio. What have you enjoyed at E3 2017? Oh, I played um, Final Fantasy Dissidia. I was like, oh, yeah. I, had, I had a brain fart because I was thinking about um, 
their new expansion for their MMO. Yeah, there's there's a million fans. I, I Final Fantasy XIV is one of my all time favorite games, but I can't play it because when I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV, mm. I ignore everything else. I ignore all other games, yeah. so I'm gonna have to sit this one out. But you played the City, which is their arcade yes, game. Yes, their new one. It's like a three v three brawler, mm. and yeah, I was surprised. It, was, it actually worked really well. I I, I played the PSP version, oh, okay, and so yeah. I it three v three was weird for me because usually it's like single player. Yeah. Is that your pick of E3 2017 from we've played so far? Um, well, I haven't played them all yeah. yet, but, but well, even so like, far, yeah. yeah, so far, yes, I uh, have to say. I'm going to say controversial opinion. Oh. Ho- everybody's golf. Hot Shots oh, Golf. Oh, shit. We got one for PS4. Oh, wait, I love it. Curse? Yeah, you can curse. Okay. You can curse. Uh, everybody's golf. It's only going to be 40 bucks. How much is that going to be, Jared, through GC Gamer Club? $31.99. $31.99 <laughs> through Best Buy. Everybody's golf coming out August. Get that. Uh, I'm looking forward to A Way Out, that Prison Break oh. game they showed from EA, from the creators of Brothers, yeah. Tale of Two Sons. Yeah, actually, yes. I'm like, now that you reminded mm-hmm. me, I'm very excited for that. And then um, last other game is Agents of Mayhem from the guys who did Saints Row. Oh. That wasn't shown at any press conference, but it's like Saints Row meets superheroes set in like South Korea. Like it's oh, okay. That game looks tight. I'm going to get that. Right. Yeah. Go on Amazon. You can get it for $41.99 digital. Oh. See, we were here with cheap ass game. We're using his hotel room. He gave, he got us a good, he got us a good location rate. Cause a good deal. Uh, follow cheap ass gamer. What's your Twitter name? Uh, at Mega Moika. I'll spam all that. <laughs> uh, just a quick, few more quick questions. Um, other than Overwatch, what have you played lately and enjoyed? Oh boy, it's been a lot of Overwatch. Overwatch. I don't know why. Um. Player unknown battle. Battlegrounds also. kicks ass. That game's yes. good. Um, they're bringing it to consoles, which is cool because more people will get to play it. But Battlegrounds is great. I've been playing Tekken 7. Ooh, I love I've it. I've heard really good things about it. It's that. really satisfying to play. I play Martial Law. Good game. <laughs> um, and then, um, you have, you have like a home studio in your, in, yes. yeah. Yes. Yeah. What, what's like quick, 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 I want people to learn something. Wow. Quick and dirty. How do you make your own DIY voice recording studio? Um, you get acoustic panels done, basically. And, um, usually people are like egg crates, but... Those can help, but don't do it. Get foam or build your own, like, acoustic treatment to hang up on your walls, and that'll deaden the room. There you go. Well, the moral of today's episode of Neighborhood Game Club is don't do A crates, do foam. That's it? <laughs> yeah. And then E3, check out Decidia. Check out Final Tekken 7. That's yeah, out. Yeah, Tekken 7. That's a good game. Follow, what's your streaming schedule? When should people watch you? Uh, Every right day? Right now, well. Oh, you're, you're in hiatus right now. You're yeah, in L.A. For... I'm in L.A., so my Stream people are like, dang it, LA, bring her, come back. We'll follow her on Twitter. She'll post about food. You're a big foodie, yes, right? Yes, I love food. It's so... Who doesn't? I just got a tweet. People people <laughs> are demanding this interview come out soon. Um, but we're going to end this episode, but uh, to leave people hanging for more, can you do kind of like an anime, like, like coming next week kind of voiceover? Okay. Okay, cool. I, I wrote a script for you. Oh, okay. Um, I'll just record it here. It's the bottom thing. Okay. You can do like, pretend it's like Evangelion. All right. And you want, you want anime? Yeah. Thank and... you for watching. You know, like, okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. okay. All right, go for it. Thanks for watching Neighborhood Game Club, a discussion series covering the world of video games. Frank and friends will show off game collections, talk about what they've played, and fully analyze the culture. Stay tuned for more episodes and trust us, there will be plenty of fan service. That was one take and we got it. It was very good. Thank you for watching Neighborhood Game Club at E3. Magic America. (laughs) Can you do a magic trick? Um, yeah, I'll try. All right, right now. All right, here's here's my fingers. Here's, uh, here's like half of them gone. Hey, I know a really cool trick. Kevin, come here. What? Kevin, can you want to do here? You want to oh, mic this? Rocky, you might need to come here. All right, this is a cool magic trick. Put your hands like this. Oh, no, <laughs> oh, okay, oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs>